Good morning, everyone. It's me, Steph, and I should be sitting here studying, but instead I'm vlogging. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm procrastinating, but um, it's kind of a messy Saturday morning with my hairdo and all, but very little makeup, but whatever. Uh, we're family, right? So we can just be ourselves. So anyway, the reason I'm coming to you is because I just wanted to talk about some of the unconventional things that I've been doing with my HCG protocol. So as you know, in P2, I was very strict. I didn't do the coconut oil, and I, my first round, I actually pretty much, I didn't even mix vegetables, um, and the only time I really cut out any of the food items was towards the end when I was um, stalling quite a bit. So I stayed pretty close to Simeon's protocol. And then um, my second round was my weak and tired round. And um, I believe maybe now after a third round with vitamins, I think it was possibly a lack of vitamins or something. So that was a very short 19 day round. And I stabilized after that for a couple of weeks. And then I went into another round and um, that was my third round, and did you hear me say was? <laughs> yes, yesterday was my LIW, and that was 148, and um, so that was only like 20, 21 days, and so what I am doing this time, um, let me go back, wait. So at the beginning, just before this last round, I purchased Weight Loss Apocalypse, and we all talk about it so much, and we watch, Robin's video so much that I didn't even think that um, there was a problem with any any of the way I was doing HCG but I started my round actually after I was like halfway through the book and I couldn't hardly put the the book down the Kindle app on my smartphone I, I have it on my smartphone so it's hard to say the book but um, so anyways, it was hard to put my phone down because it was so good after doing HCG and then reading it. I thought it was really good for me because the timing was really right to start really addressing the emotional things deeper. So it's kind of like for some people, they can just jump in and do all the changes all at once. For me, not so much. It's just like a little bit at a time, little changes at a time. So for example, my first round, I did sweeteners, Mio, and I did the... Um, you know stevia and my tea and all that lots of stevia every day and tea so so I used a lot of sweetener whereas um, third round and second round I did stevia third round I did zero sweetener just to see after reading weight loss apocalypse uh, I did not want to do sweetener just to see if there was any difference well what I did was I started round three and I loaded like this cheap load because I didn't want to gain weight. So I really only gained like one or two pounds and then a week into it I kept reading Weight Loss Apocalypse and I found that I was, um, I didn't do a good load and reading how Robin puts it about like the load is one of the most important things with the HCG protocol and if you don't get that right sometimes people even stop or cheat and say they can't do it and it's no good or whatever because they didn't load right. So then I did a uh, week into it I did a mini load so I gained five pounds the very next day I lost those five pounds so I did a week of the protocol mini load gained all the weight I had lost um, released back and I released it all the very next day so it was kind of an interesting little just to get fat on my body but I felt really good that I needed to do that mini load that um, loading is really important I already knew that but you know how you like to test the boundaries and play around a little bit and now I'm in the kind of play around stage and so here's what I've been doing that's playing around that I don't recommend it to anybody but it's working for me because of second round making me fe have feeling weak and dizzy was not a good feeling for me and I did not like that feeling and I never ever ever want to feel like that again it was just this awful sickly ugh, feeling so in order to make sure I don't feel that way or if I even feel anything just slightly coming on I'm going to make sure that I don't feel that way so what I'm doing is I'm stopping this round at 20 21 days whatever it is and I'm gonna stop for a week or two 
you know how some people do 40 days, even 60 days, 70 day rounds? Well, I don't do those long rounds, but I do the short rounds, but I do short breaks, not long breaks. So I'm doing totally off Simeon's ways, totally. So, but it seems to be working for me. And um, the thing I'm battling is not only the other people that are, oh, you're getting so skinny, but, and it's getting really bad now that I'm down to 148 now. So I've lost officially 50 pounds. But not only other people, but my husband. My husband is really concerned that, because I always do things over and above, He's concerned that I'm going to just go overboard with this and that I'm already going overboard. And he keeps saying that you're going to be one of those twig women and that's very unattractive and I don't like that twig look. But um, here's the deal. Ever since I got into the 150s and then now that I got to 148, there's a significant difference in the appearance of my tummy area so and my butt area and it looks really good but there's more to go and so um, it's kind of conflictive because here's the deal if you look at my arms they're they're slim but see right there there's a lot of that going on um, but they are pretty slim my arms my hands are pretty slim you know look at that when you get all of that and, and my feet are slim like that my ankles are slim like that and here's look at you can just see my bones and my ribs are really bad but then as soon as you get to where you know when you wear pants that are really too tight for you and they're um, you get like the muffin top there that area right there and down to about mid thigh is fat there's a lot of fat there so um, even though it's you know I do believe HCG is conquering the abnormal fat I have to say that if you look at my before picture if you look at my before and after video um, you will see my stomach was huge I mean way out there so just because I lost 50 pounds I still have some of that hanging on now my husband's going oh it's just it's just skin it's all skin it's not skin because if you took a caliper and you it's about that much a, a caliper would like a uh, pinch so <clears throat> it's not skin skin would be thinner than that so um, there's still abnormal fat there so and then after watching happy conscious gal where she was kind of going into 143 144 145 46 even up to 147 and I'm 148 and she's gonna do a completion round which we all know she was only gonna do one round period she was done now she's taking a look at herself and she's gonna do another round well that's how I feel and that's the luxury of HCG I believe because we can have a perfect body we can be slim and trim we don't have to settle for having 10 pounds of fat 15 pounds of fat on our body and I don't want to settle this is my gift to myself for my 50th man it's gonna make me emotional why is it so emotional my 50th birthday is in October and I will be the best I have ever been emotionally mentally and physically and that is my goal so that's where I'm at so before I start losing it more, I'm going to say goodbye and I hope you have a great day and pray for me. I'll do my payroll. Take care, guys. Bye.